that's not going to be enough rhinestones. So I'm gonna jump on the computer to shop me some rhinestones and I'll see you guys in a few days. Hello and welcome to the House of Tabwa. My name is Yella Tabwa and if you're new on the channel, please consider subscribing and join my fabulous crew of designers and fabulous DIYers. So, today, we're gonna be rhinestoning like a rhinestone, like a rhinestone cowgirl. You know that song, right? Do you know that song? Okay. So anyway, I got me some stones I ordered online and I didn't want to order a bunch of stones because I already have some already and I want to see what kind of stones I'm going to need for the pattern when I cut out the fabric. So I decided that I'm going to wait a little bit more on if I need more stones. So let me go ahead and show you what I purchased. And I'm going to be mixing them up, okay, because we don't do basic around here. What is this? Oh. This is tiny. It's probably for nails. All right, um, let's dive in a little deeper on what I'm planning to do. Okay, before we get started by me showing you all the rhinestones and fabric and stuff, if you didn't see the video on how to drape this, I draped this for the previous video. Um, go ahead and watch that. I'm going to link the link above right now. And then you can go ahead and wash it to drape this. This is the gown that we're going to be using to transfer onto the fabric and then rhinestone. So I'm going to make some little bit corrections at the bottom and then we're going to go ahead and cut it out on fabric. I got this stone and I think it's going to be perfect for what I'm going to be using on the patterns. I'm going to be mixing and matching. Uh, different stones, different sizes. So I think this is a great color. This is the color stone that I'm going to be using on the hot pink, which gives me a tone of orange and blue, which will complement one of the stripes in the fabric. So let's see that right now. And I got me a rhinestone tool to pick up the rhinestones when I go ahead and place them. So this stone I think would be perfect for the hot pink. So whenever I lay it on here, like this, and just fill it in, I think it will be great. And I can just fill it in with some of the miniature ones that need spacing, which will reflect and give a color off like here, and then also here, which would be complementary. And then I was thinking about adding these stones in this space, which will give it some dimension. I have more coming in the mail, so I'm not worried about that too much. So I might just mix them around like this, just to give it a little cluster. So I went ahead and pressed out my patterns to make them super neat and straight so when I place it on the fabric it is neatly as possible. Now I want the pattern to be a swirl dimension so I'm going to pick and choose which place to place my pattern so that way it can give me that swirl effect. So right now I'm seeing that the swirl effect is going diagonal so I might be placing my pattern on the bias. Okay, so 
So I finished cutting all my patterns out. So what I'm gonna do is basically put it together and then I'm going to check it out on the dress form by seeing the fit before I decide to sew all the whole entire lining together. So let's put this together and see what it looks like. to each other but for some reason it starts to look a little off so I'm gonna rework these two panels right here and then once that's complete I'm just gonna go and start rhinestoning okay so everything is correct and ready for rhinestoning so what I'm gonna do is um, draw my seam allowance in at the edge so that way I know where how far out I'm supposed to go with my rhinestone so I don't go to the edge when it comes down to sewing. So I'm gonna go ahead and place that guideline there. All right, so it's time for rhinestoning. This is the fun part. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with this glue. I'm not sure if it's gonna be perfect or great. I always use E6000, but I said, you know what, let me just try the beacon and see what happens. So this is the final look of the gown. Um, I finished completing rhinestoning just the front because, girl, guy, I am tired of rhinestoning. And for me to just rhinestone the back as well is going to be another, a whole nother week again. So I decided to just do the front. And now I'm going to get ready to install my zipper, my visible zipper and then also install my lining, which I already put together here. So this is the line I'm gonna be using. I was gonna use black, but I decided to use purple to add a little pop. So I think that's gonna be cute. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, fully line this and carefully stitch it um, parts by parts in order for me to insert everything where it needs to be inserted, like here. So I'm gonna just sew here, around here and stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and start placing all that together so I can finally complete it so we can see the full look.
Okay, girl, guy, she is dazzling and looking beautiful during the daytime. Now, I think she can be exceptional during the evening. So we're going to put her on display and see her sparkle. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.